All right, what is going on, YouTube? Busy boy, PXG Cash Howard, coach of the New York Needle Kings. Welcome you to the Week Six recap here for the Worldwide Champions League Season Four. As always, I am not alone for these because heavens, would you guys like not want to listen to me talk for an hour? So, CB is off doing God knows what, and our good friends on the other side of the pond are asleep. So we got us some new people to joining us. So we're bringing back from last week's recap. We got. The Alolan Silver Surfer himself, Silver. Yo, what's up? Coach of the Floridian Typhlosions. We also got coming back all the way from Australia and inside of a kangaroo's pouch. We got the boy, Kurt, coach of the Adelaide... Oh, yeah, Adelaide... Assholes. Yes, yeah, that, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't come out of the pouch, okay? Goddamn. Alright, all right, so we got some new people joining us for this recap. So first off, we're welcoming Matt aka the professor the coach of the miami manaphys what's going on people and also joining us is nate the person everyone seems to groan about the coach of the waterville weavals hey what's up it's the mud slap king he nailed he nailed he nailed his entrance right there that was clean <laughs> nailed it almost as good as my entrance last week from cb oh yeah cb just likes going in but i think coming out of a kangaroo's pouch is just as cool yeah yeah right. it is. so we're gonna Indeed. go <laughs> go ahead go ahead silver mm -hmm. what <laughs> You about to say something? <laughs> no. Nate, <laughs> no, I wasn't. All right. Wait, someone was gonna say something. Oh, I guess no one's gonna say nothing. So now we're gonna move on easily to week one. Oh, week one. Wow. Battle one. <laughs> week six. <laughs> week, week six. <laughs> week one. It's like last last week with season five. Um, Boy. We're gonna talk about my match first versus the Chesterfield Victinis, who is coached by Brody. This match kind of hurt me for many reasons. Because one, I'm an adamant uh, believer that Brody's going to get his first win. So having to deny him a first win kind of hurts. <laughs> um, I mean, but... Yeah, yeah. he got 6 old week 6. I, I see the pattern. I didn't mean to 6 <laughs> him. <laughs> Volcano on Rex his entire team. It really did. <laughs> he had no switches. He, he, he really didn't prep enough for it. No, oh. he did not. And I was kind of afraid because he has a lot of good pokes. His team is overall better than his team season three, a hundred percent. Oh his yeah, definitely. Oh three yeah, was definitely. a joke. So he yeah. actually got good pokes this time around, and they're actually, you know, some of them were kind of scary once they set up. You know, Vol uh, Volcarona sets up. You know, Bishop sets up. Tyrantrum sets up. You like, oh shit! If you don't have this the right team counter, sets if, you, up. if you don't have the right counter, uh, even Minior, if you don't have the right counter, you're kind of screwed. Yeah, um, it's just running you down, right? So, Wait, but what was up with the force rate? Because he, he rage quit, right? Um, so, at the end, he was down to just Tox effects. Now, oh, and he had Scald. He only had Scald was. as an attacking move, and I had Volcanion out. And even if I were to switch out for whatever reason, I would have probably just swapped into Tentacruel. So, regardless of the fact, he's not going to be doing much with just Scald with my, water, my two water types. Pretty much. So, he literally said, I'm going to forfeit because it'd be a waste of a turn to me just sitting here doing nothing. Which I understand. Yeah. I respect that, you know... I actually wasted the turn when I uh, battled CB back in Season 2, I believe? Yeah, Season 2, when it came down to Suicune and Heliolisk, I can't touch him because he has a uh, dry skin. And he knows I can't touch him, so it's kind of like... I just kind of sit there, like, let me try Scalding him, see if it'll work, this, it'll work this time, or maybe this other time, and, you know, until he killed me. But, he didn't want to waste the turn, I understand, I respect it. It was done. I do... Still feel he's gonna get the win. Maybe getting six old will kind of inspire him to get the win. It's gonna happen. Someone's I mean, gonna face it. It's gonna happen. It's not gonna be me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it'll happen or just not be Nate. Nate said it himself. Uh, if it happens, we can all bag on Nate. I mean, it can't be me because I already beat him. True. Um, alright, so we're gonna just quickly move off of that match. I guess there's not really much discussion. It was 6 0, that, that's it. That's all you can really say. Um, we're going to the. the Actually, as of right now, the quickest match in this league. <laughs> hey, <laughs> the longest. The Plymouth Porygon yeah. Z's versus the Falls Furfro. I believe 
Uh, Lime won this in 12 turns? Uh, this was a 4 uh, Something like that. I think yeah, so. it was a 4 -0. It was a 12 turn 4 0 win. And Mr. Mime got a kill. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Mime actually did. So I actually drafted him season 2, did absolutely nothing for the team, never actually came out. But uh, Napalm, being the mad scientist that he is, actually got a kill with him. That heat focus has a nice hail team. So props to him for actually getting a kill with, uh, with Mr. Mime. I can't even figure out what it was that actually caused him to just get bit out. Bodied. I think it was um. I think it was. Well, first turn he set up webs, so everything got slowed down basically, and Lime just sent out everything and killed stuff. So. Yep. Yeah, it was quick. It, the, there's nothing really to say. Yeah, he brought no so fast. <laughs> like right now, I opened up this match. All right, so not counting my intro for the match. The match is essentially about uh, six minutes long, and a standard yes. and a standard match of me recording everything comes for like about twenty something seconds. The overall video is eight minutes long. God so, damn, that's crazy. So, so Connor I literally was so watching. Con I'm like, good God. Connor said, "Like, you know, I have things to do. Let's get this over as quick as possible." You know, um, and it is kind of hard to prep for Connor. That's the only issue because you don't know if Connor's gonna go with uh, Trick Room or not Trick Room. Our webs, like, bruh. Yeah, so you have to, like, okay, do I want to invest speed? Do I not invest speed? Like, uh. Yeah, that's what fucked me over. So, you, you me over. Like, gotta bring three of each. You gotta have three speed, three not, just so you can take advantage of both. And, and have hand. priority, please. Yeah, priority probably yeah. Be a, a big help, too. And then with he, he usually brings his all three of his e uh, users, more or less. So you can't guess which one it is? Until you start seeing an item, like, aha, it's not that one. Okay, yeah. now who is it? <laughs> and oh, no. yes, what is it? Dragon Knight Super uh, Super Saiyan Sky Strike. I think um, what's his other one? Magirna. Yeah, yeah it's Magirna and Dragon Knight and. And I think he has. Wait, Wait, no, never Hoopa. mind. Hoopa. Hoopa, yeah. yeah Hoopa. So um, yeah, we've no, we've seen it used on Hoopa once. I think that was like the. Dawes versus Matt. Yeah, and he brought, yeah. He, he brought the ghost one. But it's usually been Dragonite um, doing Rip Super Saiyan Sky Sky Tri Yeah, <laughs> no, he blew back no one's account. So, and that crit was so unnecessary. Yeah, it was. Some, some of these crits are kind of like, mmm, they didn't really do anything. That's kind of like a bullying tactic, but okay. All right. Why do you need them? Eh. Alright, so... Luckily, we got the next person here for his match. The Miami Manaphys versus the Philadelphia Scythers. This Matt. match. Matt? What? Why, what did you you, why did you end Bobby's winning streak? He, he was on a winning streak? He finally got his first win. Oh. And then you shut him down. Well, actually, I went into this game wanting to kind of pull a Nate. <laughs> but it, it wow. didn't work. It didn't work well, because uh, his mons had levitate, and you can't mud slap a levitating mon. Um, talk about the clay doll. Yeah, the clay doll. <laughs> but, I mean, it, it got blown back. His his entire team lost a mon, and he tried to over predict. Um, yeah, he was trying too hard. Know, he he was trying way too hard instead of trying to hit what was in front of him. Um. Like staying in with Whimsicott, I should have never done that, but I did it anyway. Like I, I knew I had enough damage to blow back his, uh, his Steelix. Steelix is not very bulky, and a Twinkle tackle, a resisted move did half health. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Like I was like, come on. Well, um, remember, he, Steelix is not a. He's have, not especially. Yeah, not especially bulky at all. No, he's not. But um. Like, okay, uh, I ran Infiltrator so that I can land Leech Seeds on Muck. And I know that's, that's pretty scummy. People but... not running Prankster? What world is this? Hey, man, what if he <laughs> slipped on something? Um, but no, I, I, that was smart, though. That was smart. But I do agree with what you say. He does oh, a little, over predict a little bit. Um, oh, a little bit? Like a oh, lot. I, okay, I'm, the I'm nice, unless it's Liam, but... 
He doesn't. Yeah, even. and another thing, he had. I don't think he prepped enough for the memo sign. Yeah, but memo sign didn't really do anything. I mean, if he did run scarf, he might have been faster. But I was jolly. <clears throat> I think I was jolly choice man that week. Like looking at his team, not counting, you know, Claydol's levitating uh, resistance. It would have I mean, been. It would have be been. Honest, it would have been four pokes weak to ground right off the bat. Like, like so, Bobby. To be honest, Bobby's draft is weak to Mamoswine as it. So. Yeah, because Mamoswine alone could have just taken care of five out of the six. The only one that would have given it problem was a uh, Primarina. Yeah, and even and then it can run free. Even then, it can run freeze dry. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Like... I mean, but Earthquake does more. It does way overhead. I mean, and his his pre marina being life orb kind of killed him. Yeah, yeah that's, that's yeah. what cost him at the I end. thought he should have been specs. Yeah, he should have been specs, or or at least I don't know something to boost but, another stat. But but let me it, see. At the time that pre marina, the pre marina only got to attack uh, Mimikyu and Mimikyu. kill it. And at that point, I think it was down to about. And it was in the red, I think. Yeah, it was already in the red. So he died of life orb. Yeah, that's life. Yeah, that's a that's a uh, yeah. That's right. a life for Rico, but you, you still have Pelipper, Toxicroak, and Manaphy still in the wings. Yeah, he the, basically lost that game. The Scarf Pelipper would have would have taken it. The Sucker Punch from uh, Toxicroak would have gotten it. Because Primarina, I'm looking at it right now. Primarina lived at 17 HP. Yeah, so, no, like, it wouldn't. It wouldn't have lived. I had fake out. So, it would have died regardless. Um... But hopefully Bobby can kind of bounce back up. Bobby did really well season three for, after he did badly in season two. But I'm also guessing yeah. it's also because his draft has some really good pokes that I don't see often, like the Marowak. I never see the Marowak. Like he picked it for that was his that was his number one draft pick, and it's mm -hmm. it's almost like uh, the equivalent of like Pump Cell Valley. We don't see it often, or your or your, Zy, or your Zydo also. Zydo hasn't shown up either. Mm -hmm. No, he's brought it like twice. I think like twice. That's yeah, it. It's like, yeah, he's it's brought twice. it twice. So hopefully, you start. You know, if you start leaning to this, I, I can't even talk about this. I kind of do the same thing. But if you really just start leaning on like the same ones every single time, it's gonna get easier and easier and easier to to, to predict your to, team to build. predict. Unless you can, unless your poke is versatile enough that you can kind of change what's under the hood a lot. Yeah. So I kind of have like the, that convenience. I can run, you know, a bulky Zygarde. I can run a fast Zygarde. I can run just a uh, full heavy thing. But there's not run. there's not that many pokes that can that have that that opportunity. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, unless you're playing with a Manaphy. Yeah, under your base stats everywhere, or like a Celebi. Yeah, all or the, you. All those pixie, all those pixie mods. You know, you can build them anywhere. They're all good in league. Um, yeah, like Coco, I can run any sort of thing i can run mixed and full yeah, special, physical, full physical. special yeah but there's only like so much for example of Verizion can only do Verizion yeah. can calm mine and source in it so like you're yeah. either physical or special that's it yep i like unless you're gonna throw out like a curveball like oh i'm a specially defensive Verizion. is that like, we're gonna expect is either this or that this would never it. be a thing I'm just throwing an example out there no nah. hey lindo run <laughs> his gravity block <laughs> you know, I was actually thinking about bringing a gravity earthquake on um. Oh, what's this mod? Uh, I can't even think of the name right now. Um, the one that I got from Nate. The one that you got from Nate, Necrozma. Yeah. I'm like, gonna run gravity earthquake Necrozma. You don't know oh your own, you don't know your own roster folk? Like what's that thing I got? That that, that floaty thing. <laughs> hey, 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 I never use it. Come it's, on. It's bro. in the it's in the closet somewhere, uh what's it called again? <laughs> yeah, it's buried under the Nikes I just bought last week. Come on, bro. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Nikes though. Uh, Nikes are trash. They're too they're too narrow. No, uh, bro. Come on. I work in Jordans. I can only wear Adidas or Asics. Mm. Nah, nah. You can't downplay Nike's and then go go say that. Come on. Yeah, you can do that. All right, moving on. The next match: the Floridian Typhlosion versus the New York Galerks. Silva. Hey. Versus Noah. So now. Okay. I will say so Noah. Noah came. Noah carried. Let's say this. Noah came off from like almost beating Liam. 
And now Silver has the the, ch the the chance to fight him and crush his dreams like the only way Silver can. So, yeah. So why are you so mad? Yes, I'm, <laughs> I'm really scared of the Latios and the Needle King, but I ended up killing the Latios before I really did anything. It just killed Arcanine. Bullet punch it. Choice banish, bullet punch. Basically, Scizor came in, got a kill, switched out, got like three kills. Three kills, and then yep. Arcanine got two, four just got one. Yeah, Art it, the Articuno could have died. It was a roll because uh, Noah sent me his Articuno set, and I'm like, crap. It was a roll. And I got the low roll, and he got the kill with the HP file. I'm like, crap. My scissors differential. <laughs> now, boy. <laughs> when I was watching this for a second, I thought he actually did something and brought Focus Slash Articuno. I was like, what? But he just that lucky and got the one HP. <laughs> Um, yeah, but he was like, a scarf Articuno. I was wondering, I was like, it had to be choice something, and it's like once I saw it was just stuck using hidden power. I'm mean, like, yeah, it was, it's yeah. done. Because what is it? Your last three pokes are especially defensive, so it's like if it's not the right mm -hmm. move, there it's dead. Yep. Uh. Floor just was just being fat. Oh yeah, Floor is over there. Like, let me let me throw out this wish right quick. But now his Needle Queen did outdo your. Uh, your Zydoge. Yep, it killed my Zygar because I overpredicted. Uh, cause, like, I had my Reuniclus out, and I thought he would switch out to Houndoom, so I doubled into my Zygar, but he ended up going for Earthquake. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> I'm like, um, okay. And then I just ended up losing my Zygar. But I'm like, <sighs> I'm like, who stays in? Even I was so mad, but I was like, People that make them bold plays. <laughs> Remember, it's, 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 it's not only skill, is it can you can I bluff you? Yeah, that's true too. Like if you watch most of um uh like Lindo's own recap of what he's doing, nine times out of ten he's trying to see if he can bluff you to, to make the switch. To yeah. Work. And he'll say it too, like Okay, I'm hoping that if I throw this out, it'll scare him to go into this, and then I can double yeah. out and go into that, and it can destroy you. So, yeah, that's true. So maybe he, maybe he tried to bluff you out. He kind of he got what he wanted in a sense. He got yep. rid of the Zydoge. So, yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. This match. Yeah. So this next, match. So next up, the Wilmington Crobats versus the London Luxrays, which was Shane versus Liam. So. I'm really mad about one thing about this match, because the entire match. So like before the match even started, like before <laughs> before the match even began, because I remember I made Shane's pokes to be to be made, and then I don't remember who was it. Could have been me. Someone stirred the pot that somehow this became into like a Yu-Gi-Oh reference match, and I literally had to remake all of Shane's pokes to be Yu-Gi-Oh themed uh, mons. Oh god. Because and he was because he was gonna be because he was gonna be Kaiba and Liam was gonna be Joey and then the match starts and not one of Liam's pokes are named like anything they're supposed to be. And I'm like, really, Liam? Not even a man of your own word, really? All right, all right. Here's here's my issue with what you just said. All right, let's how see. can he be Kaiba when I'm Kaiba? Well, he's the one that has the Kaiba <laughs> photo on his Discord. I don't care. I play Blue Eyes. Well, that's that's how it was made. So. Um, the one thing is, this match, well, you know, a, I guess you all call it a standard match. Um, I guess Liam did predict some of these things that, that Shane was going to bring. He had the, uh, mm -hmm. the Barry Reggie. Yep. Um. Which was... That was good. a nice set because we all just ran through his team. I'm mm -hmm. But because he had the Chapel Berry, he took less than half from Lokit. And got all that damage with Iron Head, and I think Liam had Rocks up, so he couldn't switch out the Weavile. No, he couldn't. I'm gonna say this one thing about Weavile: for three seasons, I've been trying to get it, and it's like I don't need to pick it first round; I'll get it second round. And every single time, I don't get it. <laughs> no, Weavile in League Play is always gonna leave easily early on, only for one reason: because there's not that many things that can actually check it very easily. 
I know, but like, I don't want to first pick it. I feel you. I'll get it when it comes back to me. So, nope. and then it's gone. No, you'd be surprised. Like, I was thinking, okay, because you guys were all there. I could have been that guy. I could have taken Top of Bulu. It doesn't even fit on, like, my criteria of the team I was making. I could have just taken Top of Bulu from Liam. After he, you know, wasn't paying attention, just outright said what he was going to pick. I could have been well, that guy. I wasn't that guy. Liam, Liam almost never brings a Top of Bulu. So and that was his first pick. Yeah, so in the part first pick, I could have taken it. <laughs> part of the reason I first picked Celestila was because Noah's like, whoever drafts Celestila, I hate you. So despite Noah, I first picked it, and he's like, fuck you, Nate. It would have been gone for his first round anyway. Yeah, yeah Celestila is a god. First first round ser- is all... Di- it's serving me well. Um, Serving you well how? <laughs> it's annoying. <laughs> It's serving, it. it's serving you tea in between your matches? It's not doing anything in the actual field. Right. <laughs> Boy, how many kills does it have? Let me check. Like two. Man. <laughs> like one. <laughs> it has... It, uh, it has one. Yeah. Alright, how many appearances God, does it have? Dang. It has... It, it has... No, so it still has zero. Ooh, look yeah. at that. Zero, has... zero kills and how many appearances? Wait, 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 wait. Two appearances. Okay. We're, this but is... that threat is there. They don't want to bring, like... <laughs> this... It just walls so many things. So I'm like, okay, they're not going to bring that. It's like an intimidation factor. No, no. You See, you, you can't bluff like that. <laughs> you can bluff during the actual match. You can't bluff during the prep. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is week six, and you've only brought it twice. And it's your first round. It's essentially the equivalent of... Bobby and his Marowak, and I think Liam and his Bulu. Liam and his Bulu. I think Pum only brought uh, Sabali, Sabali one once. Time. There are some matches, matchups that I can't bring it. Like if they have a, like really good. Well, I, it's like the thing is, I don't want to. Oh, oh, this may be going to But like my main core for like resistance wise is Celesteela and Gastrodon, and I don't always want to bring Gastro because if they have a good viral electric type, I have to bring Gastro if I'm also bringing Celesteela. Yeah. Just like... My best, my best, my best physical check is Tang, and it's like if I have no choice, I have to bring it. <laughs> it's like you're sure. gonna, you're still gonna have to see it. Like, okay, I have to predict for this. Like, if someone's gonna have that random mon, like for example, like, oh, he's he may have Celestia. I don't have an electric type. Let me throw in an HP electric or an HP fire to deal with this threat. You know, it's gonna happen. Yeah, but I expect hidden powers. I just get scared of like Jolteons. No, only, no. only one person has a Jolteon. <laughs> it was an example. Alright. Yeah, you get scared of my type of cook. I'll probably, yeah. but Matt, them shoes look clean, though. Well, yeah, I, <laughs> I told you. I won. I, 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 I two shot your Tapu Coco with Conk. Mm. The crit didn't mm. matter. Mmm. Mmm. Anyway. That crit mm. did not matter. Back to back to the dead. Hey. Right, it, it's to, like me and my mana fever. I bring it once, or I don't bring it once, and I still win that week. Sure. All right, so back to Liam and, and Shane. <laughs> um, <laughs> so the kind of yeah. it was a really standard match. I want to say outside of like you know they kind of were trying to predict each other really well. Um, yeah, I like the the miracle blast touch was nice though. I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't expecting yeah. anyone in, in in the world would ever expect that. I didn't. Me um, neither. I certainly didn't. Now, it got to uh, Zerkertry, it got him to Red, I believe. I think, was it the Blastoise? I think it was the reason why Zerkertry even had low health to begin with at that point. And then, because Shane withdrew it out. Yeah, but, because it could live rocks, but once the Selgar set up spikes, it, it was dead. Yeah. So, and then he didn't bring his... Uh, As a remover. Which is funny, because... Season 3 was about the fact that he had a bad one. And then this time he just didn't outright just bring it. Yeah, he has a good one, he just doesn't bring it. Um, I'm guessing maybe he thought in this battle wasn't going to be much help. Um, I can see why, because Liam has uh, Gyarados. He yeah, has... With Gyarados, he has Gudra that's usually elemental, annoying every, like... Anything that's missing from his actual core, Gudra usually carries. He sniped exactly. my core. I'm glad he did. It was gonna be Celestila, Clefable, Gudra. 
and then he took it, so I had to grab Drampo, which is trash, so I ended up grabbing Haxorus, but like, if only I'd been able to get Gudra, it would have made me so happy. Bro. That would have been such a good core. I would have killed myself. Wait, how, how did Swampert get, get the kill? I picked the uh, red one too early. That's all, the root of all my problems. The way that, that Lime sets it up, besides, you know, obviously the direct kills, if, say, for example, direct. Swampert toxic something, oh, okay, uh, that's what it was. and then yeah. you know, down the road that same poke comes down and dies to poison, then the person that toxic got the kill. Wait, but why would you run toxic on Swampert? Because it it's gets bulky. walled by like water types and other types, and it's to whittle down like Gudra and stuff. Yeah, because we know for a fact. All right, Liam's Gudra is usually specially defensive. With A B. Yeah. So, all right, he knows for a fact. Yeah, but why not run like physical and Bruh. completely destroy it with a nice punch? Don't ask me. I would have. Well, that's a question you could ask uh, Shane. Like. Remember, all right, I'm guessing most people, I don't know if he, if Jane does this too, I'm assuming most people usually run 3-3, three, 3-physical, three, three 3-special. Three and if that was the case... I try, but my team... If that's the case, then I'm assuming Shane just literally left the physical to Weavow, Como, and Metagross. And the Como did nothing. I was surprised yeah, the Como, Como lived. Because they, you know, got yeah. the D-dance, but obviously Liam always runs this thing, uh, Scarfed. Yeah. So, even though it lived the first HP Ice... And I'm guessing Shane was probably trying to predict what this. Yeah, no spike. The spikes are crucial because come all live too, and it could have got a second D dance and just cleaned up. But ironically, I think even if he would have killed uh, the Raichu between Excel Gore and Victini at that at that low health where it was, it probably would have died anyway. I mean, but like they have no priority unless. He Liam had water shake in the cell guard, but let's be honest, he, he does not have he that. <laughs> we we all know he wouldn't. <laughs> he ain't he ain't that heat. He's, he's not, not that heat. He's not that heat. Um But Liam does be like I said, he didn't bring the the theme that he was gonna bring. He still got the win. It's kinda like whatever. You almost lost tonight anyway, Liam. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's that's the, that's the important uh fact. If here. only if only. I blame Matt. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. I <laughs> built with Matt. Me for? I built with you and you didn't be like, yo, Nate, don't bring Shell Trap, that's stupid. And I even asked you, it's like, should I bring Flamethrower or Shell Trap? And he's like, uh, do whatever, I don't care. And I'm like, uh, I want to bring Flamethrower, <laughs> but Shell Trap's its signature move. And then That's, that's Matt, because I was building for my own week. Matt and Lily said, do whatever your heart desires. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> So, the next match we're going to go into is the El Paso Entes and the Brooklyn Caesars, the continuation of the Blaze Saga. Hey, the saga has continued. It's this game. Which is funny. I would have expected, uh, after like what we were talking about last week, CB would have been, let me end the, let me end the saga. And it didn't work out that way. Mm-hmm. Um, the one thing that really I can tell you off the fact that got me mad is the fact that he kept throwing out Heat Ran. Whenever Tapu Finney was on the field, I yeah, know he and, was playing reckless with it, but it worked out. And you know, everyone knows what he's trying to go for. He did it with Shane. He's trying to get the. He's trying the try Bloom to, Doom. Yeah, he's trying to get the Bloom Doom by trapping it first, and then going straight out for it. Uh, in, and there was a couple of turns that you know Finney actually just stood in. He could have done it. Instead, he went straight for like rocks. Um, I think one other turn he actually went for an attack too. Right, come on, show he me. said he show went me. for rocks because Breloom could have been a sash. Right, come on, show me the Bloom Doom. Um, and it's kind of funny though because he when he did switch out into uh, <laughs> Gorgeist, <laughs> it was kind of funny. Gorgeist like, oh, it fricks Poison Z, and it's like, what's the next? What does uh, Blaze do? Activates it. Right. <laughs> it's like, oh, you want to know what this is? <laughs> yeah, it's your death. So you got. <laughs> Kills the gore guys. <laughs> this probably would have been First the best time. The I don't even know why he stayed in. What well, no, he swapped? Oh, he, he swapped didn't. into it. I guess at that point he's like, okay, you know, he has poison. He's like, what is he gonna do with that? <laughs> I mean, he used it the time he swapped into it. So yeah, he was sacking it. So essentially, which is kind of interesting because if he would have just stood in with heat ran, 
and Blaze would have clicked Poison Z. Yeah. That would have been funnier, but. Yeah. Regardless of the fact, once he, the match was still kind of going, you know, somewhat back and forth. They were, I think, at around the three. Uh, no, when they got to two, two v two, at that point, it was kind of obvious who was gonna win. Keldia yeah, wasn't. Yeah, because like once the tornadoes got paralyzed, I felt like that was game. Yeah, and I think he knew it too. Though. Yeah. Okay, he went into uh, what is it? He went to Tornadus, got gung shotted by the, uh, by the yeah. The he's his T tie was scarred. Pursued the uh, the thunders, and he sent out Infernate <laughs> Swords Dance, gung shot, killed at places. So yeah. And then you know, the Infernate started mock punching. Um, yeah, it mock punched yeah. Akelio into range for Brown. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He pretty much just let his team get too weak, and Brolin just come in, come in to finish it off. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he That's needed the guard guys for the Brolin, but he had no choice but to let it die. So the Blaze Saga at that point continued on. A to the three, three and three. Um, it is time. DB is now picking up another loss at four two. So I wonder if he's probably sitting there going. Oh, that the Blaze Saga, can, and he was a big supporter of the Blaze Saga, right? Just kind of. Like, I don't think he's too upset. Yeah, <laughs> I think he was. He was that upset. It's kind of like, you know the Blaze Saga continues, but remember, I said it from the get go. If things are not gonna run the way it's gonna run towards the end, it's gonna become kind of like the whole thing about um, oh let's let uh, Kurt get the buzz wall, and then that, oh, but wait, but that will use up uh, his last slot. Okay, you're not getting shit now. Right. Yeah. If you start seeing Blaze picking up the win and people start dropping down, you're gonna start seeing less and less supporters of the Blaze show. <laughs> and I don't know, the Blaze Saga will lose support. The Blaze Saga is a lose ratings. It's gonna get canceled. <laughs> I yeah, already I don't like it. Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't like it either. Yeah, I didn't like losing 04. So yeah, that was pretty terrible. And I raised. I would say it can't happen. And I've said it from the beginning that. If the Blaze Saga does not run through its course, and you know who's to blame, the guy who predicted it, known for not making the predictions correctly. So Liam is always wrong. And speaking of <laughs> and speaking of predictions, Kurt. Uh, ah, you know it's coming. The Adelaide no. Absol versus the Rochester right on. Kurt, you bad, bad person. I mean, to be fair, he had nothing to surpass. Like I was actually, I would even say, I was actually impressed. Kurt actually made the godlike of plays. I think the first four, or five three, plays. Three. Yeah, well, we'll say, all right, we'll say four. The first okay, four, yeah. the first four turns, Kurt made like the god plays. Like I know what you're doing. Like you would think Kurt was just right next to Pum. Like yeah, I see what you clicked. Yeah, I got you. Um. <laughs> yep. And then. And then yeah. <laughs> It all I literally I couldn't do anything once he trapped my answer to Serp. Once he trapped it, I couldn't do anything, and I just had to give it up. Yeah. When he trapped when he trapped Greninja, I had to give up. At that yeah, point. Yeah. Once he was, when he trapped Greninja, it was like good game because like he killed the only thing that can one shot Serp. Mhm. Mm so yeah. I couldn't do anything at that point. Uh, I think from memory. I'm gonna go check my team again, but I went. Um, Greninja, Dublade, Coco, Ditto, Mesprit, yeah, and Suicune. Um, yeah, see, I was. Um, I wanted to get that second layer of Toxic Spikes up early game. Because I you didn't, didn't do it to me. I didn't want to die. And uh, you did. And I know you didn't want to die because you did get the, uh, the Healing Wish later. Yeah, I wanted to keep Greninja so that it didn't. Stack my pretty much only answer to Serp. Um, I didn't have U-turn, and he was Scuff anyway, so I couldn't touch him at that point. <sighs> Greninja was Greninja was a Z-move user, so that I could just nuke the um, the hit on top. If it decided to come in and try and rapid spin, I would kill it. Yeah, we had a heat set, but he ended up not again. Not Kurt, the Dublade did it not have Shadow Sneak? 
It had Shadow Sneak, but what? I did the Calx and at that range, it just didn't kill. Uh, you I mean, I would have, I would have at least attempted it. Yeah, yeah I hope for the crit. Yeah, I would have blessed you and gave you a crit. If he, he got a crit, then he could have brought the game back. But nah, right? So. If he brought, he, if he got a crit, he won that. At that I just point, didn't want to take that risk. What did, they, what did you I click then? I clicked um, Sacred Sword. Hmm. Bruh. Right. Boy. Because I knew that killed. Kurt. Kurt, you gotta get good. You gotta get good like me. <laughs> you gotta run Mud Slap. And, and Nate, don't and, even start with me. And speaking of you... <laughs> the, yeah. The Seattle Sharingan Superiors versus the Waterbow Weewiles, the last match. I was so close. So Nate, once again, you were close. You t you saw it. You saw the light. I saw the light. You ta like, you almost tasted that victory. It just like I I don't know. Kong I'm, put in so much work against his team. I'm not a it person. Really did. I'm not a person with with, with calc, so I can't you know say if it was or not. But that last um. Mock punch that you did on Kiram, was it a low roll or was no, it? No, it wasn't even he was in range to get killed. That was just a standard, standard, uh. If he got yeah. the crit, it would have killed. Yeah, I was like, oh god, I can't. I, I was like, okay, I don't outspeed. I didn't think I outspeed it because I had no speed investment. Which... Say... But the overall, overall, regardless, the match was still pretty amazing. Yeah. I will say that. I did have the. I went for all out pummeling on. I forget what it was. And he brought in Fortress. So, and he brought in Grand Bowl. And it's like, I had to go for it. But if I didn't, and I like saved that for a time. Oh, you like, saved that for the time. end. <laughs> like, I had a time that I could have. If I had saved that, I would have been able to not use it. I just. My base problem was like have hazards. So. Me being the being the person I am, I'm like oh, he has Lando T. T. I want to bring Defiant and Polion, but you can't have Defiant and Polion with Defog. So it's oh. like my gender's like, yo, Nate, do you want to have Defog or Defiant? And I'm like, Ugh. and I think that was me. And I think that was me this week. And I remember. Yeah. And I remember as I'm recording this, I'm like, wait, why does this this set look sound familiar? And I'm like, didn't I make this in Polion? Yeah, I picked yeah. Defiant over Defog, and it lost me the game. If I had been able to get rid of those hazards, I won that. Conk would have lived the ice beam if not for all of the hazard damage. I remember saying it to Nevada, I'm like, why hasn't he defogged? And then, like, then it started dawning on me. Wait, when I saw the fine, I'm like, oh, right. Oh, wait, I made this. This is not. This is when I told him he had to choose between defog and defiant, and he chose defiant. And I regret it. If I had defog, I won that match. But now, ironically, you were putting in work with Coffee Grigas in the beginning. Yeah, and then I let it die. And I was like, mm, where, what? Because I don't know what was the other move. I know I saw Hex, I saw Hex. Will O Wisp, I saw Calm Mine. What was the last one? Let me pull that up. I have all my teams saved. Yeah, I should do that. I never actually saved my team. I do. Yeah, I after, keep all my team. After I use I it, I just delete them. <laughs> no, no, I have a list, so I know what I'm doing. I know all my guys. I lost all my teams from right before Where's Calm. It? Kurt is in my server, so he knows all sets. Mm. I had yeah. Hayes. Yeah, and I think you revealed it, didn't you? Um, I don't remember. It's just looking at Lindo's team, I'm like, hmm, what are the big threats? And I looked at it, and I'm like, okay. I am terrified of, like, I think I got scared about Nasty Plot, Baton, Fast Celebi, and Dakiram. Like, I was convinced he was bringing Baton past Celebi. And I think around this week, because the issue with, uh, could I, probably the one thing you probably expect, you would have expected not to happen because we still didn't have the 100% clarification at that point. Because I remember if you asked one week about Baton Pass and then you asked the next week, you had two different answers. Yeah. Yeah, it was confusing. We've and never, like, we didn't get the 100%, oh, we can't, you know, we can do it, just not speed. And I remember this, and I remember this 100% fact that, that this happened, that there was a confusion. Because I remember when I was gonna draft Scolipede, I literally asked before I drafted Scolipede, um, what's the baton passing thing looking like? 
I know speed was probably not going to be allowed. But I wanted to know, do I still have the option of, you know, passing other things? And I remember CB told me that nothing could be passed. So apparently that was, like, the, the, the rule. And even though the sheet yeah. said opposite, the sheet... Live still had the sheet with the basic rulings of, you know... Um, but Tom passed, man. But Tom passed, you know, anything without speed. Or so, speed by itself. Or speed yes. by itself. And then... Like I said, then later on you keep asking, it's like, no, you can't baton's past speed. It's like, okay, but this said yes, and he said no. And it kept yeah. going like that for a couple weeks. And I think no one at that point was even bothering running baton pass because we didn't actually have a clarification of what well, we can do with I was it. terrified of it because if he brought that, he would only be passing special attack. And if you look at my team, I have nothing that can take a hit from a plus two Kiram. Like, I was expecting him to bring... Baton pass, nasty plot, that will be into Kiram, and then just sweep me with it. But now that I think about it, I don't, I don't remember Lindo ever like running baton pass in the league. I, think, I don't think well, Lindo he, doesn't do baton pass. Yeah, I don't think he likes trade him. Celebi, Celebi is a really good. Oh no, yeah, he got that, and that's what, and that's it's when a we really had, good pass, yeah. and that's when like, we had the rules open. But he never actually did anything with the Scolopede in terms of. Uh, I baton also passing. was kind of scared of like, at like. I've become so paranoid of setup that I always bring a, like a move to stop setup. Unaware Clefable can only do so much, so I think I just like panicked and naturally brought Haze because fear of setup. And but, setup destroys my draft. But you gotta but, if you yeah. look at anyone's like most people's past battles, like they kind of like you can kind of see what their like playstyle is. Not when many yeah. setup. Yeah. Uh, I had the I'm one person, the one person who like I think every week for a fact tries to set up something is usually a uh, pum Me? you pum behind a, a sub. Yeah, uh, the only thing I set up is rain. All right, the only thing I set up is rain. Um, Get over it. <laughs> I sort of half set up, not every week, but set up a bit. If I set up, it's with Haxorus or Kamala or Turtonator. I've run, I've run shell, shell, shell smash Turtonator. Like multiple times. It also depends on the mod. Some mods you know. I shouldn't be saying that because, like, I just gave away no. one of my win. The one, the when you look at a person's mind, you can kind of say, for example, Haxorus. Everyone's gonna expect you to dragon dance with Haxorus. Oh if yeah, you, yeah. If you choose to yeah, swords dance, is. if you choose swords dance, kind of like, oh, you're going that route. But primarily, you're gonna be like that thing is gonna dragon dance. Or, or I can be that person, ass. and I'm gonna do this, and I'll bring choice banded, and then they'll be like, what the, is this damage? Like, I don't think anyone was expecting the, the Shell Smash Turtonator. It's kind of like, wait, what? Yeah, because it's actually really good. Like, a plus two Flamethrower or a plus two Dragon Pulse does, like, ridiculous damage. But see, like, that is kind of, I'm guessing, because we don't have much experience yet with most of the, the Gen 7 mods that are not used. Hey, I drafted a Raquinid. A Raquinid is garbage in League format. It is, like, a terrible move pool. Yeah, but see, you can't, let, you can't, let, you can't let people know that, because gotta, they gotta still expect to be afraid of it. I mean, it, I it, 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 it can yeah, bring poison I mean, jab, liquidation, leech life, and then another move. Right. Um, but I mean, who wants to catch that water bubble liquidation? Let's true, be real. That's true. Um, a toxapex. <laughs> and I remember it wasn't it. Someone tried to burn it, and then they realized they couldn't. That was Chris. He went yeah. for was like three times on it, but one of the times he missed. But see, <laughs> like, that's why that's kind of the, thing, me? because you kind of have the advantage. Not many people know the lower end Gen Seven mods. True. Like since it's still new, like look at me. I didn't know what the hell power trip was. I actually have to in mid match. I have to actually open up a Gen Seven attack. Thing. Like what the hell is power trip? Power so, trip is power physical trip. sword power. Yeah. So when you have like a Gen Seven thing that's not overly, you know, commonly seen, like the, you know, Ultra Beast and Cocos, you see, and Coco the uh, the Tapus, you see them everywhere. You kind of know what to expect out of them. But All right, no I'm, one. I'm just gonna say, ninety yeah. percent of the time, if you see me bring Mimikyu, warning everybody out there, it's gonna have Leech Life because I run Focus Sash. Yeah. Or you run Z Splash. Have... No, I'm not running Z Splash. <laughs> I run didn't... leech life so that I can get back to full health off of your rocks, off of your spikes, off of your poison. I need my focus ash to go off. You could have just revealed the one thing everyone noticed, the scarfed uh, Pelipper. Oh, why would I? 
That's that's <laughs> that's <laughs> secret, man. That's not see. I think everyone said that since week one. I don't think it's scarf. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Let me let me check something. Actually, I think I brought it and messed up. Let me see. I miss. It's like just funny, cause like ever since I've joined, I've been like the underdog, like the person who's like not very good, and it's like I've tried so hard to improve and things. Like I admit, my building gets better each year, like each season. And yeah, and now and now happened to like I was the worst. I think season one. That's because I picked like everything I was weak to psychic. Yo, yeah. remember my season two draft, or maybe it was from a different league. But I first picked Celebi, and then my next two picks were Breloom Latias. That sounds like not our league. You know, yeah, that doesn't sound like any drops you've had in our league. Uh, Maybe that was the league that Liam brought me from, I don't remember. But I like this fascination with Celebi. Celebi is one of my favorite mods, and I'd always bring it, and I'd always name it Tinkerbell, and I loved bringing it, it with Specs. You could have drafted it in this league, it didn't get picked up till round four. Yeah. I, I thought Araquanid would be good, and I drafted Araquanid. If I hadn't drafted Araquanid, my life would have been so much better. <laughs> oh, that's who it was against. Huh. Yeah, it was against Bobby. What was? I brought the wrong... Um, Pelipper? I brought, I brought my week one Pelipper, because I had Lindo gen my mons, and he gave me Rain Dish Pelipper instead of Drizzle Pelipper. So I had to swap it out for a different one. And I grabbed a random one from my box, gave it a scarf, and I looked at my move set, and I was like, "You're not a scarfer." <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was, it was defog tailwind, um, hurricane, and skull. Well, you did remember you did run scarf uh, rocks before. What's, what's, I, what's I, wrong I, with I, a, what's wrong with a scarf defog? Make sure those it's rocks garbage. are. Make sure those rocks are gone, and then I'm out. What am I gonna run? What am I gonna run? Scarf Tailwind next? Let's do it. <laughs> Napalm is Yo, about to boy, steal that set. <laughs> if they didn't bring Mudslap, I would bring Scarfed Mudslap. Nah. I did that once. I brought Choice Scarf Mudslap plays again. Well, you have to stop. No more last mudslap. season. You have no. a you have a Mudslap problem. Last season, you I also addiction. brought Choice Specs Mudslap plays again. You gotta stop. The first the first you thing is to admit you have an addiction. Nate, Nate, there, we brought you in here today to have an intervention. <laughs> you're no longer gonna run the mud side. You're gonna run what we call hidden power ground. But no, the accuracy drops. No, no, <laughs> no. You're not allowed to run mud flap. It's banned. <laughs> I'll just run ancient power. I'll just run serene grace ancient power. Yeah, sixty base power ground from HP ground. Much better than your whatever damage mud slap does. It's base twenty. 20. Yeah, look at it. you can but actually kill something. But the accuracy drop. But you can kill it and not even worry about them yeah. get, getting the accuracy drop. If you had drop. HP ground against me, you probably killed my Coco. But uh, you know, you had to run Mud Slap. Uh, that chance he said was trolling. It was Serene Grace, Mud Slap, Charge Beam, Ice Beam, South Rocks. Ew. And then you're still not blown back by Dom. As soon as you let yourself get too weak. And Dom was powerful. If I had spun those the spike the toxic by the way sooner. With Kamala, I would have won that game. Yeah, I, I was watching it. that replay and I was like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> I was watching the replay. You know, I was like, like, "I was like, you threw out every mon and then Kamala just went blocks away." I was like, "What are you doing, Nate? <laughs> I know that things Iron Fist. Why are you throwing Conkwilder out there?" <laughs> and, yeah, I was scared of his guts when he sent it. When he sent it out on the spikes, I was like, "He's no. guts." I've brought yeah, Iron no, Fist. Yeah, no, Iron Fist. I've brought Iron Fist, Conkelder all of the weeks. I've brought Conkelder. Um. Oh. All right. This we're, this is your intervention. You're you're gonna learn today. The first step is to say I will no longer worry about mud slap. I will no longer worry about mud slap because you can't use it regardless. <laughs> because I can't I'll use it regardless. Hey. <laughs> there you go. See, like you said it. Like, don't you feel better about yourself right now? No. I feel ashamed. Feel ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I feel ashamed that I tried to use it against Bobby and failed. You, you both you both should feel ashamed. I'm, I don't feel ashamed. You should feel ashamed for not telling him to run flamethrower. Actually, you know why um 
shout out to Kyle Ken. He he actually nicknamed my uh, Manaphy without ever knowing it. Wait, you never realized it was nicknamed? No, 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 no. He he brought a Pokemon to a free for all that was named the same name as my Manaphy. Oh. And I stole his name. Because <laughs> <laughs> because uh. what's tuna sub backwards and don't say it out loud. Well, you just did. No, no, uh -huh. I'm saying what's tuna sub backwards, but don't say it out loud. Uh. Don't say <laughs> it out loud. <laughs> All right. So bad. All right, moving on. But yeah, so. this battle with Lindo was interesting. You almost yeah. had it. Almost. Um, it was still, you've had to already, that's two good games back to back. That's after all that complaining Hopefully that Liam. I don't choke next week. After all that that Liam has said, week after week after week after week, we can say this finally, you're gonna, you're starting to like, resist Liam. Like, no. Like, I'm yeah. gonna do what I wanna do, and I'm gonna actually win. And look, you almost beat him. Yeah. And you almost beat Lindo. True. And those were very. And I almost beat Kurt. And you almost beat Kurt. But we won't talk about that match because I want I want twenty minutes of my life back. So <laughs> I think uh, Kurt wants I think Kurt wants more than twenty minutes of his life back. Well, no, because Kurt yeah, Kurt also I got pe Kurt also got penalized for that too, so he doesn't get anything back. Oh, okay, that's good. High timer on him. All right. So moving on to the trade and the drops that were so obviously no one made any trades between themselves. We only got drops. The New York Galerks <laughs> dropped uh, the list upon. I picked up a Lomomola. This makes sense because he's been saying a lot of things about how Glissopod's bad and Emergency X is the worst thing ever in league format. And this gives him like a wa tanky water type that honestly I think his team was lacking. Wait. And it also helps with Regenerate our Wish. Yeah, that's true. Like, well. if you look at his team, he has no yeah. bulk. He has nothing to take like. I'm trying. Hey. I don't know. Yeah, he had. He's like Needle Queen for fire types. And then like Rock Needle Queen for electric types. But he's Wait, really like, Wait, uh, well he has Latios to take fire hits too. True. Yeah, true. But L I view Latios more as offensive. He, he's only brought he's only brought Latios offensively. Does Noah have any baton passers? Mm. Uh no. And that's PZ gets it. Um I mean, if he can sword stance, but time pass. Uh, the Sidjuai gets it. Yeah, Sidjuai gets it. The Sidjuai gets sword stance, work up, and nasty putt. If if he can, all right, no, listen to me, all right. If you can sword stance into a banded aqua jet from a Loma Mola, do it. It does oh massive God. damage. It does massive damage. <laughs> no sword stance. And then go into a fully physical choice banded Latios. With no. Using Dragon Rush. No, 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 no. Physical Loma Mola. New meta. Shall we prove Phys it? Physical Porygon <laughs> Z. New meta. You, you guys I gotta got stop. It. <laughs> Cash is done with the set. You gotta stop. <laughs> uh, I'm not, that's not okay. even saying this. Like Noah, Noah, <laughs> Noah, now you have to listen to me. He's not gonna listen to you. He's not gonna listen to you. <laughs> Is no one listening to you, Nate. Nasty plot, <laughs> baton pass into a choice spec Lucario with flash cannon. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> you need to stop, and you need to just shut up now and let Cash continue. Uh, so, as you guys said, he did drop Galispot. Galispot is a good mon outside of his ability because his ability is what its, its biggest hindrance is anyway. Um, yeah. He does pick up a utility poke in a Lomomola. Can wish, you know, it's essentially a cleric, can be annoying, as you guys said, with a regenerator and can also just start toxing things to death. Um, it'll hopefully give him a nice bulky poke outside of, I think, what is it? I didn't even think of a really good uh, defensive poke. Needle Queen. Needle Queen, Needle Queen is, is bulky. It's like Clefky, it's like the next best thing. Yeah, between Needle Queen, yeah. Articuno, and Clefky, they're kind of bulky, but they kind of don't want to take hits at the same time. No, yeah. yeah. So he doesn't have like that automatically, you know, that's that's the wall right there. He kind of has quote unquote walls, you know, to say the least. Um, so hopefully Alomola will actually help him out a little bit better in taking hits from things outside of electric, of course. Um, Napalm, being the mad scientist that he is, uh, drops Probopass. 
Actually, wait, before I, I just remember this now, too. Because kind of like what um, we were talking about before, with that drop, that, uh, with Galispa dropping for Loma Mola, Galispa's Z move is also changing, and it's moving on to Meloetta now. So we're gonna actually have we're gonna actually have uh, three different drops like this where something's getting dropped and something else is now taking the stone. So in this case for Noah, Galissapod Z Z stone is now in Maloetta's possession. I was the first one to do this with Trampa, and that's because you didn't have a choice. Yeah, and you're lucky that we didn't pick it for you. Just well, to, just it out there I, too. I said Conk and Haxorus, but no one has no one saw it. <laughs> Bruh. Alright, Napalm is dropping Probopass after he was saying so many good things about it, and is picking up Rempardos now. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of either of these two pokes in the, in the beginning anyway. I don't know if any of you guys have anything nice to say about... Uh, okay, Napalm. I, I Napalm. Napalm, you need to listen to me. Okay, you may think this is crazy, but... Okay, so he has baton passers. Yeah, he does. Mew. <laughs> oh thanks. my god. Nate, Nate, Nate don't, stop don't, don't, right no, 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 listen to me. Listen to me. No. Ah, what, what is the mute pass, button? Into a choice banded head smashing Rampardos. You will take lives. Actually, you probably will. Nothing is living that. Yeah, but a banded or a, a scarf max attack Rampardos is getting away with anything. Well, I ran that last season, I think, because I had it last season. I know someone who who runs this and literally calls it Oko fodder, because it literally at at the most I've seen it ever do is just kill one thing and then die. Yep. Boy, I brought it. I used it last season, and I had one that got like three kills in a game. So oh, maybe you can give. Well, Napalm probably has some weird ideas because it is Napalm, and we know him as the mad scientist for a reason. Yep. Choice specs Rampardos is <laughs> coming. Yeah. So with that Probo Pass drop, his Z Stone is now being given to Alolan Nine Tails, oh which, God, which I remember he high. wanted to do in at first, not realizing that he couldn't do that. So now that he actually has a way to actually give it to Nine Tails now, I'm kind of afraid of what it's gonna do because uh, yeah. it's been kind of a it's been better than his Rotom Frost. We'll, we can say that much. Yeah. Um, you sure? You sure? Yes, because Rotom <laughs> Frost cost him, cost him, uh some big plays and big wins. Yeah, Night versus Pump. Alola yeah. Ninetale so far have helped them, you know, in defensively with uh, Aurora Veil. And, you know, that move. Because Silver didn't kill it when he should have. Let's not but, speak of that. Yeah, we won't speak of that because we'll get to that in a few anyway. <laughs> Yo, right. next season, I'm drafting a Hail Team. Uh, well, Hail Team at least got better than they were in the past, but it's still not the greatest weather. It's no, the worst no. weather. It's still my favorite weather. It's still trash. You're Sounds still trash. Better. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, let's see, what's the next pickup we got? Alright. So next we got Matt. <laughs> um, dropping... Alright, so this is like a weird one. Because he's gonna drop to pick up again, but we know why. So, he's gonna be dropping his Whimsicott in favor of Ludicolo, while what, what that will do is it will drop uh, Whimsicoss' Z-Crystal, and before we even get to wonder um, what that belongs to, he's immediately gonna <laughs> re-pick back up Whimsicott while dropping his Gold Duck, and now that Z-Crystal is going to Toxic Croak. So, hey. right. so now... Matt, what happened? Gold Duck is like D Duck. I think I only saw it once. What? Hey man, I have enough ducks on the team. Sure. I mean, I mean, if Wait. I would have kept Gold Duck, we call it the Mighty Ducks, and I'm not doing that. But if you did, it would have been actually cool. Probably, but I mean, like we got we got Cress, right? They Which they call I it but, they call it Double Ducks. In VGC, which is Pelipper and Gold Duck, um, so I guess if you want to call Pelipper a Duck, no, I'm calling it a Pelican. Yeah, <laughs> a Pelican. But I mean, I mean, they call it a Double Duck set. Okay. Where you bring Pelipper and, and, and Gold Duck. All right. So I figured I'd drop a regular duck for a Mexican duck. 
and I picked up the Ludicolo because I needed I needed another um, I needed another grass typing that wasn't so that wasn't whimsical that wasn't so fragile yeah because um, whimsical is just straight glass kind of it is I'm not even yeah. gonna deny that and um, it's kind of sad me yeah, whatever it happens. Bring us all best. No. <laughs> no, man. I think I did that. This all week. right. I think I brought like four. So now we lead off to the last of the uh, the drops, and like I said, I knew we were gonna bring this up anyway. Um, Silver decides to drop Mantine for Crobat. What are yeah. you doing? What are you doing? Now, ironically, I remember Mantis has been like, almost in every single battle, so at least this is probably like the first time where it's not a poke that's just being dropped for the sake of being dropped. So, Silver, yeah. explain why 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 did Mantan get the boot? Well, I was uh, thinking and I was looking over my draft, and I'm like, <sighs> like Mantan is slow and like it's easily pressured with rocks. It's slow quad electric weaknesses and I looked at Crowbound I'm like wait it gets U-turn it gets the fog taunt ruse all that kind of stuff and it's a poison type so I thought that was good all right I'm not, I'm not even gonna say anything bad about Crowbat was a former member of the New York Needle Kings until it cost me a match um <laughs> yeah I, I then hated it since now, ironically, I think Silver only did this because I kept giving him so much crap about it. He drops Cloyster and picks up Milotic. I didn't like this one. But I mean, Milotic's bulky. You kind of needed that, too. Yeah, I needed that. And I needed to get rid of a rock weakness. I mean, but bringing... Um, I think you guys said this last week. Bringing a... Uh, um, because it does get rapid spin, you it know, does. it does get screens, and, you know, bringing a bulky one. I mean, I would have tried it first before dropping it. True. I think the fact that he knows I'm going to bring it up every single time that he didn't get that clean 6-0 with it. I he didn't was, make the Jesus play. He's like, you know what, let me just get rid of it, that way Cash can never bring it up ever again. But I think, knowing for what you needed the, the bulky water type and it was available, since uh since Pum had dropped it early on, yeah, it was too good to pass up. I would even, I would consider that also if I needed the um a better water type. I would yeah. agree. Um and plus you no longer have the ice weakness, uh, not ice weakness. The um the weakness is from the type ice typing from Cloister at least. So um, you already know you're only weak to grass and electric. That's it. Mhm. Mm and I have monster to do with that. Yeah. So it was a to me. I feel it's a good pickup. You didn't it need. Was, you you also don't need the. Uh, even though, Cloyster could learn rapid spin. You still have Crobat that can defog anyway. You could yep. be that. You could be that cheeky person running the fog scissor, which I know you won't. I would never do that. <laughs> <laughs> still had to mention it anyway. Yep. All right. So that leads on leads us into the standings. What, I have one last thing to say. Yes. Do you want us better than defog scissor? Wait, what? Oh God. No, Choice no. scarf, defog scissor. No. Let's do it. Yeah. No. 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 Uh -uh. All right. Let's not. So there's a lot of there's a lot of gray in this week six standing. <laughs> right. <laughs> um. No one ch really changed outside of Pum moving up one slot and CB dropping down two slots. Blaze moving up one slot and Kurt dropping down one slot. Rip playoffs. So uh, th that's still the chance, Silver. It's not over yeah, yet. Yeah, I believe in you, Kurt. And Silver is I still. I have no chance for playoffs. Hey, you never know. No. You, you can make a Jesus play. Uh. From week oh, six to week fifteen, if you somehow can get uh, what is ten that? wins in a row. Nine wins. Nine wins in a row. Of nine nine six O's. Of four or four O's or better, maybe. Because you see, it's not right at this point. It's not really like all right. For example, uh, Silver's six and zero, twenty-one differential, right? 
no, the, so only per- the only person, the only person who's like literally that close to him is Connor, literally by one differential. Wow. And then you got Liam by three to, to the silver, and you know two by Connor, right? But if say, yeah. for example, uh, hey, you start winning, you start bringing your differential up, you could probably start knocking some of the people in front of you downwards, but by that alone. And differentials play heavy, heavy towards the late uh, season. Yeah. Because I think, I mentioned a couple times, me and Bobby's match during season three, the last, last, last match, um, I literally did the math. If I got a 4 row or greater on Bobby, I guaranteed myself the ace, the ace spot. If I got a 3 0, we would have been tied. And anything obviously under three, I would have lost. And yeah. he got he got the three zero. It was we were both now tied for eighth place, and the, the combination of differential and past uh, season thing is what got Bobby into the playoffs. Because it ended up yeah. it ended up knocking uh, I think it was Noah out or Blaze out one or the uh, other. Uh, who was it? It was someone was sitting. I think it was Nate sitting right on the edge, and then he lost to me. I don't know. I was thirteenth. I wasn't even. I can check. Age. I still have last year, last season spreadsheet. But I want to say it was. I think it was Noah. Is the one that got bumped off. Yeah, it was Noah. It was Noah because I remember what made what brought up the the victory was the fact that Bobby when he fought Volt actually got the win. So because and Noah took over for Volt. So based off of that, Bobby got the win. Yeah, Kurt, I beat you last season. Ooh, ooh. Uh, I beat you 3-0. Ooh, Kurt, com- Kurt comments. It was last match. I'm like threw random shit together. <laughs> <laughs> like I just threw random shit together. I couldn't make playoffs anyway. Yeah, I got, sure. I'm just gonna say I got Gudra for week five, and it led my teammate kills. Yes, yeah, so, so you should thank Linda for giving it to you. Yeah, and then I wasn't able to draft it this season because I thought I could draft it. Well, I thought I could draft it late, but in reality, I was just being stupid and drafting a Raquanid. And if I, well, like I just said, we next season will be difficult. Everything will be in the tier system. Next season, I'm so, drafting Raquanid again. So cough, nothing, cough, Blazers draft. So nothing's gonna be as OP as it is this time around. It's gonna be a little next, bit more controlled. Yeah. So, so everybody who's watching, just heads up. Next season, I'm drafting Ledian again. So beware. God. Oh God. All right. I'm dropping beware, so uh, beware. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, that brings us to the last slide, the top five. There's only I think one change comparing it to uh, last week's, and that's the fact that I'm actually up there now. Uh, hey. So Lindo actually for first off, first off Lindo overtook Palm and is now number one, with Lando T twelve and three. But 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 what? Oh. I'm sad. Why? Because I like Pum more, so I wanted him to be in charge. Oh. Well, I think it's because, what is it? Pum Salamence didn't do much against uh, Kurt, so blame that. True. I'm blaming Windows Lando doing well against me. Um, what does Pum kill with Salamence? I don't think he got any kills with it. Well, he killed the Ditto. He needed to uh, kill the Ditto. He got one kill. kill. If he got two got more kills, kill. if he got two more kills, he would have been on still in number one. Because he would be by death, see so overtake Lindo. Uh, Silver got one kill on me, so he would have been ahead either way. Yeah, Silver's in third with his scissor mm-hmm. ten and three. Only mm-hmm. by one death, it'd be tied up with Pum right now. Uh, Kata's Magirna nine and two, and my Volcania nine and three. Also by one death, others I'd be tied with Connor right now. So now. Looking into the future matches that we got uh, for week seven, I was about to say uh, week five again. Yo, Cash, Jag, Matt, Matt. Huh? Matt got. Matt. It's nine o'clock. He got dragged out. A Matt got dragged out? Yeah. The so red on, red on time, Matt's back. So, yeah, I misclicked. All right, so the week seven <laughs> matchups that we're going to be having Connor versus Noah. Uh, Brody went for Connor. Brody versus Napalm. Um, That's interesting. Matt's yeah. gonna be Matt's gonna be fighting me. 
Oh God. Wait, wait. Does that mean I get to come back for next week too? Uh, that I don't know. Oh, I'm here next. I'll probably be here next week. Uh, hopefully. Blaze versus Bobby. Oh God. Bobby, end the Blaze show. You can do it. Um, let me see. We did that. We did. It. Nate is gonna be battling Silver. Hey. <laughs> hey. 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 Um, Shane's gonna be battling Lindo. Yo, Silver, oh, I'm a 6 though you. Oh, this will be a good one. Gotta um, get the trash talk in. Pum is going to face Liam. Ooh. Pum is gonna win. That's gonna be a good one. I want Liam to lose. I just want him he to lose to. because... He... <laughs> no, 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 no. I just want Liam to lose because I want Liam to lose. It's like... Yeah, I want Liam to lose because I want Liam to lose. I want Pum to 6 out Liam, but I know that's not going to happen, so I'm going to say, like, Pum, Pum's going to 2 out him. 3 0? Oh. 2 0. Actually, actually, I kind of want the 5 0. I'm not getting too greedy, <laughs> not for the 6 0, but the 5 0. I want Pum to 4 0 him because, you know, he, because, you know, that's Liam's favorite number to say. Yeah. Uh, he did 4 0, okay. He did 4 0 me, so he has, he technically has a loss, he just can't go on the sheet. Kurt is going to be fighting. CB. Ooh. Good luck, this buddy. This is going to be a hard match. And I think that's all eight right there. I mean, come eight. on, Kurt. You can do it. I did it. I can I, I can do it. It's just going to be a hard match. You just got to play. Yeah. You just got to play correctly. And look, 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 look. I, I can send you this link where you pay like $10 and it increases your RNG. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dude, give me that link for that. a slap. <laughs> I need that. <laughs> no, no more bus slap. I need that so they always miss, even if they when they just, have the accuracy drops. Oh. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, with that said, that does bring us to the end of the uh, week six recap. Um, we already just announced all the matches that we're gonna be expecting for week seven. Um, we already no, we, everyone here such has their prediction of how by how much Liam is gonna lose, which is kind of funny. That one person here in this call has said Liam is gonna be Pum. <laughs> everyone, every, everyone just kind of, everyone just kind of named like, oh, he's gonna lose two o, three o, four o, five o. So, <laughs> I want Liam to lose seventeen o to Pum. That, that's what? impossible unless he brings every single Savali and gets a kill for each one. Uh, that would kind of be impossible because there's nineteen, eighteen now. 18 and I his... want him to get a 12 owed. Mm. Um, no, I want him to get. I know, I know. I want him to lose in a 6 6 timer stall. No, 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 so that's it for the week's the week six recap. As I said, we do thank you guys so much for watching. As always, like and subscribe to keep watching when more uh, re uh, replays go up live. And till next time, you already know who it is. Your boy PXG Cash Hour, <laughs> coach of the hey. Nintendo Kings. And everyone, I let everyone say goodbye one at once. So the Alolan Silver Surfer, coach of the Florida Yo, Explosions. What's up? See you later. The coach of the Miami Manaphys, the uh, professor, Mr. Matt. Cash, I'm coming for that ass. Oh, yo, Joy. <laughs> we got Nate, the mud slap lover and coach of the Waterville Weavals. I will timer stall you with ancient power. Oh, my God. <laughs> and and uh. the coach of the Adelaide Absols who must return in, into his kangaroo pouch, Kurt. <laughs> Youngness clicks out. <laughs>